Hi, I'm Pete Vincent. I've run West Country Boat Repairs now for over 20 years. We are complete specialists in sailing dinghy repairers. And I'll, in this series of videos, we're going to try and pass on to you some of the simple little tips that we've learned about how to do some uh, repair work yourself on your own boats. So today, we're going to start introducing you to how we can actually undertake simple re boat repairs at home on fairly standard glass fibre polyester resin built boats of which the laser is a classic example. Most of the boats that we actually own at, at Sailing Gods now are, are like this. Most of the RS range, most of the laser range are, are all like uh, of this type. Um, and we're not going to be talking about doing big repairs but the simple little knocks that we actually get from day to day sailing which, which are annoying don't cause the boat real harm, but you could definitely tackle yourself at home using the right materials and going through the right procedure and steps, which we're going to talk the way through now. So this laser, we have a classic case here, a small knock on the, on the, uh, in the gel, which is actually not gone right through the gel and has exposed the glass fibre underneath. The glass fibre is not damaged, but the gel is completely removed and we want to protect the boat again get a complete coat of gel coat back on it and be able to hide it at the end so that you can actually see what the repair actually has uh, taken place. So I'm going to go through now all the steps that we would we would do to actually do that and there are probably at least three stages of operation to get that, that well hidden. The first thing we're going to do is where most people go wrong with a repair right at the very beginning is they do not actually prepare the surface properly. And the alien concept of taking some really coarse grit sandpaper to your boat and making the whole situation an awful lot worse before you start making the situation better it is a complete anathema to people. They really don't like doing it. But this is 80 grit production sandpaper. You can pick this up at most hardware stores. And we're just actually gonna slightly fold it over and get right into the centre of this, this and we're going to rub it down really hard. And why we have to do this is we need to get rid of the weathered surface that's there and all the loose fragments that are still in there. If we don't do this, when we try to apply new repair material, it's not going to adhere properly. Also, we're going to do an area around it. We're going to rub this down quite hard. And this is what people do not like. They put a awful lot of patches into the, into the boat so that they can see. But when we come to actually try to hide it, we're going to take the, the finished gel right out over to this big wide area onto good unaffected gel, and that's the secret of actually hiding. But keep going with this, really get in, into that groove, get rid of all the loose fragments, increase the area that you're going to do. See, I've created an awful lot of gels up here. Don't be afraid about this, you're not going to cause any harm to the boat. Okay, let's talk now about the materials that we're actually going to use to repair the boat. First off, we need, we need gel coat. The boat, all, all these type of boats, have a, have a gel coat layer coating over the glass fibre. This is, a, is to protect the boat, provide a waterproof coating to it, and to make the boat look pretty and, and aesthetically pleasing. This is, this is the right colour gel coat for the boat. This is polyester gel coat with the pigment already mixed in in the right proportion. As you can see, it's very runny. It's very fluid, it's very runny. So in actual fact, we will also need filler powders to put into it. Okay, this is actually colloidal silica, funny sounding name, but it's a filler powder, it will bulk up the actual gel coat so it will fill this big groove. Otherwise, we're going to be applying an awful lot of gel to try and fill this. We will do that in one go by mixing filler powders, which we'll show you in a, in a short while. This is the catalyst. It, the the, the um, gel coat has an inhibitor in it, in it that's stopping it going off in there. By adding this catalyst, we will remove that inhibitor so the gel coat will now go off. We will need brush or brushes to apply the gel coat with, particularly when we get to the finished coat. Don't go cheap on the brushes. Go for plastic handles, ones without paint on, 
and the bristles again you want the bristles not to fall out that is really irritating when they do that so again don't go really cheap on the brushes you'll need lots of mixing sticks you will need plastic cups again don't go cheap on the cups because the, the resin will, will dissolve it um, protective gloves and you will need a supply of acetone acetone is very useful to clean the surfaces um, before you apply stuff and also clean hands up your hands also it will actually remove wipe off any excess gel or when you make a mistake and don't add enough stuff you can wipe it off let's go through the actual procedure now mixing up your material so first off I'm going to dispense some gel into the into my cup push it down as much as you can off the sides so you're not picking up cat, uh, gel that hasn't got to have the catalyst added into it which is a bit of a disaster and they're going to add my catalyst you know this we do not have to exactly measure it it's a two percent by volume approximate all this catalyst is actually going to do is remove the inhibitor that is in the gel and remove it out it's not an exact science an exact volume as per the epoxy so i'm just i've put some catalyst into my lid and i'm just going to pour some into there that's all the sort of quantity we actually need i'm then just going to quickly mix that in make sure and give spend about 15 to 20 seconds to get the catalyst to mix right the way through through the gel so that this gel will now go off any gel that hasn't got the catalyst mixed in will not go off uh, and you'll end up wiping it off so i said try and get all the surplus that's on the side down into the bottom as you can see this is actually very fluid okay so it will not fill very much. So I'm going to add a bulking agent into this, which is colloidal silica. It's a very strange name, I said, but what this does is bulk, bulk out your gel, add a little bit of strength. And we do not want to add too much in one go here. So I'm just going to literally drop that in, quickly mix that, mix that in. That's nowhere near enough yet, but I there's a huge danger if you actually add too much in one go that you'll actually go go um, thicken it up too much and it will just go dry and become unusable but that's still how much how much you, you add you'll get used to by how much depth you're trying to fill on some narrow small scratches it will be staying very fluid but i'm trying to turn this now into quite a thick paste we're nearly there so you can see we're just spending time to mix it all in there she goes the difference is now this has become a thick paste that will won't slide off the off at all very sort of clotted cream constituency and this is where, where we've got the deep grooves deep scratches in your boat and we're going to and you literally would fill that's what it says on the tin it's a filler coat to fill up the, all the voids and the big depressions and the big grooves now at this point we're not actually trying to actually finish this we know it won't finish with this coat i'm actually just going to use the, spat, the spatula to actually work gel into it into that area we don't want to leave it silly pride we want to make sure there's enough in there to fill it but we don't want to have a real excess left over because we're just going to have to sand that off later on and that's all there is to it in natural fact for the first stage we will then wait for that to cure in fact, what we would have done is gone right the way around your boat to find all the areas that need do this, doing this to get them all prepared in advance. It's a nice sunny early April day here. It's actually quite warm. I've probably only got about 15 to 20 minutes, if that, before this starts to cure in the pot. So it doesn't give you very long to actually to actually get this, this on. So always prepare the surfaces first. Thank you for watching. 
hope that's been of great help to you. Stay tuned, we're going to do the next stage, release another video clip for the next stage of how to, how to complete this repair and eventually hide so you can't, you can't see where the work's been done. If you would like to know more about actually doing work on the boat at home and you would like to have a go, we also have got a little companion booklet on GRP repairing that covers everything I've just actually talked about and more. Um, it's laminated, it's small, you can have it beside you when you're trying, trying to do work at home. We can easily mail order it, it's £7.95 plus postage and packing and it's a, hopefully you'll find it very helpful. It has lots of pictures and photographs in there to show you how to guide through, through it. For those of us that are really keen to have a go themselves and would like to have a bit more knowledge and, and confidence, we do run one day boat repair workshop courses. Of course we can only be able to start these again once this that terrible crisis is over, but it's a full on one day course, very hands on. We will take you through every single stage from glass fibre and quite significant damage right through to polishing and hiding the repair right at the very end. I said it's very hands on, you will do every single stage. It gives you the confidence to pick up um, tools and coarse sandpaper to prepare the surfaces properly, how to use the right materials and when, and the different stages to go through. £95 for the full day, including lunch and a copy of our booklet. As I said, once this is all over, we can actually run these on a pretty hard basis quickly when you, when's appropriate for yourself. Um, and please have a go yourself. It will give you the confidence to actually repair a boat yourself at home. Please all stay safe and let's enjoy saving when we get the chance.